Uh, okay, let's get started. It's a breeze. That was only an extra 11 minutes. Oh, <laughs> shoot. Just a breeze. You know what? Next time I'll remember it was, where it is. It so. was right down toward the end. It really was. Because that didn't exist <laughs> until uh, toward the end. It's like that's the way it's going to work. Okay, sorry about that. If anyone was planning on watching today, we got a late start because I had to change all the people in my class so that uh, we won't be showing any names. So today, we're going to talk about the basic steps of gamification. The first two parts of gamification, what Dan and I think are the easy parts of gamification in the class, and that is uh, experience and leveling up students and badges. And I think we should start off with badges. Yeah, okay. that's the easiest. So badges are those things, and I'm going to go ahead and become someone else. I'm going to go ahead and become uh, Bilbo here. Uh, and where are we at? Log in as... So I'm going to become Bilbo Baggins here in my class. And over on the right-hand side, it says the badges that he has earned while he's been in my class. So as he's been in my class, he earned the orientation badge, which was basically class introduction and knowing the syllabus for my class. The basic computing, which was my chapter one, and there were some different requirements to get that, and he also got my chapter two one, which is the operating systems penguin badge. You can make them be anything you want them to be for anything you want them to be. They don't have to be related to specific chapters. They don't have to be related to certain content. It could be just doing certain things that you go and award them a badge. Mine are related directly to chapters and doing well in that chapter. So um, there are some things, for instance, uh, Bilbo did not get the, the power one uh, because in order to get the power one, uh, I'm gonna go back uh, just to be me for a second. I was gonna say, do they know what they need to do in order to get certain badges? Do they see the list of requirements? Or I don't even know the answer to that. Uh, yeah, surprise. Yes, they, surprise. Yes, they, can. <clears throat> they can't actually see them. So but they'd have to click in the badge in an area and then they see all the, the ones that are Yeah, well, we'll go look at that in a second. But I'll show you that you can make them related to anything that you've got in your course. So for instance, in my course, in the chapter three section, if they um, got a 90% or above on the fight, only then did this show up in my class, okay? So only the kids who got above a 90% got a great job, you get a gold star, and they get to pick up the gold star. And if they pick up the gold star and did everything else for chapter three, they got the badge for power, but only then. And they can only get the gold star, if they can see the gold star, and they can only see the gold star if they get a 90% on the test. But you don't actually have to go to that length to actually get... No, the, there's, they're really, really easy yeah, things. You could actually just say for reviewing something, you get... Uh, right, you get one yeah. badge or um, yeah. So and you can just give people badges. Yes, you can just award them too. If for hard work, helping somebody out, you can say for being a great lab partner, uh, you get the lab partner level one badge, and you can go around and you know okay. and yeah. award those to kids as it's, well. It's pretty much a digital sticker. Okay. Yes, exactly. That shows up every single time they come in, there, in your class. So, so the way you get there is through badges on the on the administrative block on your thing. There's a button that says badges. And you can manage badges or add a new badge. We'll just go to add a new badge and start from there, okay? So to add a badge that you're gonna use your class, you just give it a name. So I'm gonna make a motherboard guru badge. And uh, you, can, you have to add a description. And I see that. Yeah. Sorry, my vocabulary just went away. And the word you I was going to use. You bad for being the awesomest. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, whatever you want them to say, and then you got to pick a picture. So I'm going to do something silly. I'm going to do guru. See what comes up as images. Is there a suggestion on size. It will resize it anyway. My buyer should be actually showing up. So. 
should I make that? So here's the thing though, when I go and use one, that picture is huge. You can yeah. see it's a really big picture. You don't have to use that. I can just take the icon. So I can go, so copy the in image. I'm not copying this huge image. Right. I'm just copying the icon of the image. Right. Uh, can I paste that right in there? I don't think I can. I, 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 I think I gotta that. save that. I think I gotta save yeah, it. Yeah, you, you see your uh, requirements there are, you know, uh, GIF, JPEG, Ooh. Ooh. PNG. Yeah. So I'm going to just save this image. So I'm going to uh, save image as, and I'm just throw it on my desktop and say Guru. So I remember, oh yeah, and it says right there what kind of, I mean, at most, yeah. most picture files are on there. So I just put it on my desktop, but I'm going to browse to it. For some reason I have pictures of, let's see, upload a file, browse on my desktop. Okay, so that, that's the easy part. So I, I browse to it, I'm going to upload the file, so now I get that in there. I, it doesn't matter about who's giving it, although you can put your name in there, you can put your contact information in there if you want to, you can leave it just the way it is. And I'm going to hit create badge. Now, I've just made a badge and nobody gets it. So now I say, how do you, how do you get this badge? So you can say, it's manually issued by someone, okay? So by role, meaning teachers can issue a badge. You could do it when they complete the whole course. I uh, don't know if I'd use that one. Um, based on other awarded badges, so you can make it like, if you're a level one uh, lab partner and a level one uh, dissector, then they get the super, they get the level two badge or okay. something, okay? Yeah. So you can make it based on multiple badges. <coughs> and then every one I've done is based on activity completion. Now, we're not going to talk about restrictions today, but we're going to have to talk about activity completion in order to talk about badges. So by saying that, you're saying they have to complete some other stuff. My list of other stuff is ginormous. So it's going to take a little while. I don't think it's already loaded. Is it already loaded? I doubt it. No, it's still loading. Okay. So basically every single thing I have in my course is pretty much a completable activity. Most people have none, and you have to turn on those individual things. Okay, so uh, just to so show you. Sort to sort that? Or that would be awesome if you could write that uh, for no, me. I it's in that. the same <laughs> order um, oh, the course. that your course is in. Okay. I'm pretty so sure. By topic, so so, okay. um, so if I have, I'm just going to go into my, my uh, yes, demo a, area here. If I've got anything in here, I'm going to turn editing on. So I've got in this demo area, I've got uh, uh, feedback in here. Then I'm going to, I'm going to go into it and edit it. Where's my edit over here? Edit settings. And in every single activity, if you have completion on, somewhere down in the bottom, it's the second of the bottom one, says activity completion and what does that mean okay so by default it's going to say this it's going to say do not indicate activity completion because it's off yeah. i don't show any of that at all on mine because i haven't done it in the original edit settings okay so that's a good point thank you dan no problem so uh what dan's saying is that in your course itself you have to turn on activity completion and i do that through the course administration edit settings if you don't turn it on, you don't see any of those. So I go all the way down here to completion tracking. And if you haven't said yes, you won't see it at all. So you have to turn that to yes there first. I'm sorry. Good point. Good but point, Dan. Have it said. Already, you should have it said. So that should be a default, but yeah, that's, I'm just yeah. saying. Yeah. So it, it by default says no, which means you won't see any activity completion. You have to turn this to yes yeah. in order to see that show up on the bottom. So when I have activity completion, everything I make by default says do not do activity completion. And depending on the kind of activity, I turn it on. One of the, This is always an option. Students manually say whether they're complete with it. That me means if I say students can mainly mark it as complete, then you're letting them say, I finished that, boss. And if that l is like that, then, oh, then in the demo area, you'll see a hard box around it. And that means they can go, I'm gonna turn editing off here. That means they can go in there and check 
and uncheck whether they've completed. It's up to them to do it. Yeah. Uh, if it's a hashed box, it means that they have to have done something to complete it. So I'm going to go back down here again to activity completion. And now, instead of students manually marking it, the other option is, so it's not activity completion, students track it, or something else happens. Show activity is complete when the following conditions are met. Now, what the conditions are down here, and it's before the expected, is going to be different depending on what kind of activity it is. Okay? In this case, there's, there's two choices. Did they look at it? Did they submit it? Those are the only two choices on, on this kind of. And if it's just a, a link, it's did they click on it? Yeah. Right? So yeah. that's the only option on if I made a URL. But you can track whether, did they actually go to the website that I told them to go to? Yeah. No. Did they actually right. download the, the syllabus that I told them to download? If they didn't click on the syllabus, they couldn't have downloaded it, so they don't get credit for downloading the syllabus. Yeah. Is it a graded activity? No. Do they have to do it to earn the badge? Yes. So, so view this activity, that's just literally opening it. Right here. So is it, it means they didn't do it. I don't know what the point of that, that one is. Because if I go to the feedback never, and don't do it. I never clicked that one. So yeah, I don't either. So they have to view it to for it to be completed. I save, and now the difference is that <laughs> is got hash marks around it, yeah. meaning something has to accomplish. Now I will tell you that I make sure my students understand that. Because sometimes it's like this. If it's like that and, and something else requires them to complete that and they don't check it, I'm like, you didn't say you were ready for the... It says, click when you're ready for the test. If they don't click it, they don't even see the test, right? So they're like, I never saw the test. I'm like, you never clicked when you were ready for the test. So that's a, okay. That's a, something else. Better. They will also need to refresh. All right. They will need to... If you click that... In order for it to actually trigger something else, then you actually have to refresh because mm -hmm. um, Moodle doesn't actually see your click well, that's, yeah. as an entered piece of data until I guess, yeah. that page is saved. Probably right. Although I've never done it that way. Okay. So you're always but in something and you come out of it and it's already there. And that's Yeah, that's the thing. Is If you do the conditions correctly, it will actually do themselves yeah. and things will pop up. Yeah, they just show up. Huh. So based on the kind of activity, the completion is different. For instance, um, on uh, this test, okay. In order to say um, this test is complete, something has to happen, and I'll show you. So this this down here under grade, this grade to pass has nothing to do with passing your class. It's saying really it should say grade to complete. Because down here, under activity completion, it's locked right now, but it says required grade for it to be completed is students must receive a grade to complete it and they have to receive a passing grade. So they have to get a 9 out of 10, a 90% on this particular one to say they've passed it. Because I don't let them take the test until they've at least got a 90% on the quiz that's a review for the test. So the, the completion tracking, those are combined, correct? Yes. So they must, it's it's an and statement, they must receive a grade and... Yeah. Well, there's no way you can say receive well, a true. passing grade without getting yeah, a grade. You can just say it has to have a grade. In other words, they have to finish the test, okay. right? They don't have, you could say they don't have to pass the test, they just have to finish the test before they can move on. But on something like this that's a open quiz, multiple attempt, as many times as you want, take it from home, yeah. that it's a form of grade that's worth relatively nothing. The whole point is to get you to... Does the required passing grade become available if you don't click required grade? Or does that only become available when you click required grade? I don't remember. I don't know the answer to that question. If it, can, if it gives you that other option. Because if I, let's go down here to um, the second test. Right down here, if I go to edit settings. Oh, it seems here. like if you click on one, oh, it if, opens up another one. If you actually want to put one on there for a passing grade from, yeah. say, you something can't. else, if right. it doesn't yeah. actually have one in there, it'll stop and ask, tell, basically tell you, you to set that, that other one you need to set a passing grade. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I have made that error recently. Yeah, his, and, and if you didn't hear that, back up here in the grade. Yeah. 
Um, if you don't have a grade to pass in here, I'm going to have to save and come back here. That was an 80. And now I try to go down here. Oh, yeah. Um, wait, I'm going to go down here. Uh, receive a grade, receive a passing grade. So this one condition below. I don't know. Why does it? Why did it allow me to do that? I wonder if it didn't save because it didn't really come back out of it. Something else was red. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it. I don't wanna. I don't wanna mess with that. Honestly, because I forget to come back to it later. No. Um, I think you can check it anyway. It just won't work. I'm sorry. I, I didn't speak out. Uh, I'm I'm on I'm on next week's topic. Sorry. Okay. So I I won't say any more about it. So. Okay. So let's go. Week for that let's stuff. let's go <laughs> back here. So so you have to say um, which things have that you're gonna you're gonna use. Okay. So they have to have um, do this, and you could say they have to have done it by date. I don't do that. I just say okay. they have to have done those things. So if you want to say <coughs> they have to download the syllabus by the tenth. In order to get credit, or then you can put you can put further restrictions on it. So I can say, hey, you have to have gotten the syllabus, you have to have done that as well, you have to have done that as well. But as I do click these things, I have to remember to go to the bottom because by default the criteria is when any of those uh, things are done, you need to change it to when all of those things are done. I if, think that's a bad. If you, no, if you want all, because you'd say, you know, there's so many different badges that you can make off of just like three criteria or two criteria. It's like if you complete this by this date, you get this badge. If you complete it by this date, your badge looks like this. You can basically say that, you know, you get the gold, silver, or bronze. And it's like bronze, why? Because you waited the longest amount of time to actually complete it, but you still completed it. So you get a bronze medal. Or you did it, well, you know, well before I ever asked you to. You get the gold medal. It's the same criteria. It just you made the uh, the dates different, and now you're getting you're getting awarded a different badge. I guess mine. Yeah, I can see I, that. The, the only reason I do well, I, I understand what you're saying though. The the big reason I do the and is because I don't want the in, in this is my class obviously. I don't want to have too many badges to the point where I've got 80 million badges, but maybe people do like to get 80 million badges. Yeah, well, if you love them, you know, because, I mean, when you were a kid, you got stickers on your, you know, homework and stuff, people could do like that. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. You know, every assignment could have its own sticker. I guess now, the point is, if you wanted to have multiple things, you have to tell them that it's multiple things, or it'll think it's just one thing. So... I, I'm going to say to all of these to be complete, and if you want to, you can add a whole description down here. That's that's optional. So I'm going to hit save, <clears throat> just to show you what that looks like. So now it says, to get this, you have to have done all of these activities to get this, this badge. Okay. I can go and I can add more things. I can also say that it's issued by roll as well, and I can say. You could have other people be able to do it. Um, if you made a special group, I'm going to just say the teachers can do that as well. So now it's going to be, it can be issued by either one of those things. So I can give it to them or they can earn it. That's what I've just changed that com completion to. Except for I want to change this to any because I want it to be either, either you do this or you do this. And by the way, by adding more things on here, I could do a, like Dan just said, I could say that you do this or you do this to earn the badge. So you go through the whole thing again. I could do the whole thing again and say, okay, so you had to do those, those things. And now I'm going to add another criteria. I can't. I only can do those two things. So any of these two I can do. The message is what pops up to them when they earn the badge. So it's going to say, congratulations, you just earned a badge. And then it, this is a badge name. So you've been awarded the badge of whatever your badge name is. More information can be found on badge link, blah, blah, blah. So they get this pop up with the badge showing in the middle of their page. And they do it. That's automatic. Um, and then 
that's it. As soon as I hit enable access, anybody who's got that criteria already, the next time they log in the middle, it's going to award them the badge. Okay. And when they've done the, so you can do it later. You can okay. you can do badges later. They don't have to have done it before so you enable. So they've already fulfilled the requirements. They automatically get it the next time they log in. Yeah. If I go ahead and enable access, I don't, I'm not going to do it. Does everybody have the ability to uh, change the message? Yes, I think so. Right. Well, then they definitely should know not to actually uh, change those things that you have in quotation. Well, those yeah, things you have here for bodies. Well, you could. You could change that. It just, you you'd write, my name. favorite badge in there. I mean, it just won't say the badge name, name anymore. The badge name. They could type what they want to be in there. Yeah, but is that the default one that actually goes to everything? So every time you bring it No, in, I'm pretty sure that it loads this from the what the, they consider the default is. Okay. And then you can change it to whatever you want to. It's not going to change my other ones. That's what I was wondering. I'm going to say without question. <laughs> it's yeah, not going to change my other one. <laughs> I thought I'd just throw the question out there. Not, I just thought, I was like, wait a minute. I was like, you won the rhino badge. You look there and it's a banana or something. You're like, no, that's not even close. I'm saving that in here in case I'm wrong. <laughs> here you um, go. With the smile. Attach here. badge and message, yes. So I'm going to save the changes. And so if I enable access, let's see if anybody if anybody automatically earns this one. We have people out there on this right now? I don't know why is it letting me hit continue. Oh, it's doing it. I'm sorry, it's trying it to figure out. Look, everybody just earned it. So they all just got a, uh, a message. I'm going to delete the badge, obviously. They're going to go, what? What's this? Um, so I'm going to go back and log on as somebody. I, I am 99% positive that, that I'm going to be right on this. We're going to log on as Aragon. So as soon know. as he logs on, I should get that I earned the badge. I didn't. He didn't get the pop-up. So he must have to be active when he's doing it to get the pop-up. I want to say it, it is for the XP. I mean, the XP one pops up. Yeah, no, I've seen this pop up before. Yeah. So it just it didn't do it right then because it because they were offline when it happened. They'll just see the thing, but when they earn it, it pops up, okay. and it does it for the XP as well. So. Well, I've seen the XP one. I just okay. I, I want to go. I'm going to go delete that one because they're all going to be like in such a disarray right now. I don't so I'm going to go to manage badges, and you can see the badges that I have right now. Five of seven kids in the class earned the basic computing one. All of them earned this one. I'm going to throw it away, delete and keep existing, and help delete and remove existing issues badges. And remove. What? I just had one. Everybody got that. Everybody got that one. Only one person got Got this one in chapter oh, yeah, seven. Was, yeah, because yeah, the, 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 yeah, the criteria is too high. Well, plus you had to remember to pick up the star. If you didn't pick up your star, you, you just, didn't earn the badge. Because you didn't earn it. So, is <laughs> <laughs> that the case? So, my only one person got that one. You can see my power man, my power penguin. Know, nice. Nice. So, I'm sticking with the penguin. A penguin in the crane position. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Very nice. Perfect. So that's that. You can go back later. You can use an existing badge and copy it and edit it before you... Because if I was to copy this one, it's really easy. So it's copy of Orienteer. Now I can go and edit the image and edit the criteria and stuff. No one gets it. No one knows it's there until I hit Enable Access. So if I wanted to do that, I could do that under Manage Badges. Okay. And I'm going to go and delete that one. So we don't forget. Delete. And remove Badges. Such badges. Do you have any questions? I mean, the criteria criteria off of badges um, is is um, much as you want to use it. I, I use stash, and that's going to be part of XP. So, for instance, um, when I do that criteria, um, you can't make a stash a criteria, but you can make clicking on the thing that got them the stash a criteria. Can you give somebody multiple badges of the exact same kind? I don't think so, can you? I'm just asking a question. No, I'm pretty sure you can't. Hang on, 
Okay, well, I, I, someone, I understand. Someone out I understand. There. No, I mean, it's yeah, a good question. I don't have to know there. every answer. No, someone out there in Cyberland was wanting to go, I want to give my kid a gold star for this. And I was like, I want to give him a gold star every time they Okay, go. now that's true. You can if this gold star is a badge. Not, I mean, sorry, right. it's not a badge, it's a stash. Okay. So, for instance, on my class, right here, if they got if they got a ninety percent on this test, see, not available unless you achieve a required score in chapter three fight hidden otherwise. So they don't see this unless they got the ninety percent, and they can pick up the star, and then they would see in their stash, which I don't have any of because I'm not a student. It would it kind of looks like badges. It's not the same thing. But you can make something like that where they get a gold star every time they do something really well, and you can make criteria that, that based. And that's next week. Next okay. week we're talking. We're going to talk more about restrictions. This week's just about about badges and experience points. Okay. Yeah, I didn't mention anything about that. So that experience points. next week is restriction sets. Okay. How to make things like mine. Uh, in fact, we made. If you use restrictions, if you switch role to clean course view. All your restrictions go away. You're not impressed by that, but I'm I really impressed. love it because it, my screen looks so messy, and now I look yeah. at it, I don't see any of the restrictions, so I see everything, <coughs> but at least I know what's there. Okay. So. And it would still be grayed out if it was hidden. All these things yeah. are actually there, this is provided you meet the restrictions. Which, yeah. Everybody has the ability, teachers have the ability to do that in case they wanted to actually video yeah. something from their Moodle without having all the other clutter that a teacher right. would normally have. Because all that stuff was making my screenshots yeah. a mess and stuff. Yeah. So that's what, if you haven't tried that before, that's good. Uh, you can just switch to clean course review and you can see now all my restrictions are back. Oh, so yeah. the first thing was uh, badges, which students earn by however you want them to earn them. I've never had 100%, by the way, on Chapter 3 test. And my Hobbit twins got 100%. And mm -hmm. it's like, are you guys got some kind of uh, oh. mental thing going on there? Anyway, um, the other thing we want to talk about is levels. So right here is the level up um, thing. You, In fact, I'm going to show you how to add both those. So both badges on the side and level up you have to add as a block. It's not a block that you will see on mine because I've already added it and you can only add it once. But there would be a block that's called latest badges and if you don't have that, they'll still get the badges, but how will they know they're there? They have to click on something. They, they would see it like, if they go to their profile, I'm gonna to go to somebody's profile. If we go to Bill Blow's profile, it does show his badges on his profile that he earned Hey, look, I earned all these badges on here. Obviously, my course is the only one he's in that, that does badges. But I don't want him to have to look for them. I want him to see them right there on the page. So I have to add the badges one. The other one you have to add if you want to use Level Up is the Level Up badge. Or I mean, is the Level Up block. So you just have to go down to the side, go have editing on, and pick Level Up. Now, the idea of the Level Up block, I can turn editing off here for us. The idea of that is that students let me shrink some of this stuff down. Students don't see any of those links. They see course info, they won't see those, and level ups on the side. And as they do stuff in the course, they gain experience points and they go up levels. <coughs> you set what they get experience points for, how much experience points they get, and what the levels look like. So I'm going to go to the ladder in mine. You can see um, right now, first in my thing is Gimli. He's level, uh, where? Where's my level? Where's my level? That's the icon. It is the icon, but I don't know what that, which icon that is. It looks like a punk. Does it show yep. everybody, or does it only show a certain range? Now on mine, it shows everybody, because it's mine. Okay. But that's a setting on there. Yeah. On the visuals here, uh, no, not there. No, level. By the way, everyone's level four. That's level four. Um, on here, no, it's Ladder. not. There is it ladder? Yeah, but so now you have a well, wait, you have a, oh no, uh, info. <laughs> I can't no, remember I, where I it's right either. Check, check info because I remember. I think it's over here in like settings. Yeah. settings. Okay, yeah. settings. Okay, so 
Um, what what do they see? Enable the ladder, yes or no? In other words, can they see other people? Yeah. Who do they get to sit to, to see? Um, that you can have it hide their identity or see their classmates. Yeah. Um, you can say, do they see everybody? Do they only see the one person above and below them? Do they see that? And that's the limit. It's it's okay. everyone or up it's to five. five, and that means five neighbors above and below. So if you have a big class and you're doing your big biology class, you got yeah. 80 kids in it. They're only going to see five above and below. They they don't have to see who they are. You can say it hide. They can just say that they're number seven in there if they want. If you only have five kids in your class, then they get to see everybody. Yeah, that's right. And then where where's their rank? Do you, you want them to show their rank, their relative rank? You want to hide the rank? Those are all choices that that uh, that you have. And then these other columns, the only one is total on progress towards the next level. I have I love showing those. Well, let me go. I might as well go walk through all the settings we're right here. So, enable points gain. If that's a no, no one's getting experience points. Why is that set to no? I don't know. I had, we had it going. That's new with the new change, by the way. It, when you had it before, you don't want it, to go it was into just. Effect, I guess, but. Yeah, you have to say that yes, it's working. Do you want them to see the information page? Yes or no? Um, and, you know, when no students will not be able to view anything. Okay. Enable level up notification. That's whether they get the pop up. You've just gotten a level five. They actually, um, they actually like that. Yeah, they do like that. Like, ooh, I think that's. Oh yeah, because then they want to go. Hey, level four. If if you say no on the ladder, if you say no on the ladder, they won't be able to see where anybody else is, and that and that's fine too, right? Yeah, but I think there's a competition yeah, thing. Yeah, they gotta, like being able to see where they yeah, are. Well to see. Um, and they gotta and, know who it is. I, I think so too. If they can't, they'll see each other's name. Um, I, I don't know what they see on the height because I've never done the height because only the people in the class can see it anyway. So, uh, what does it say if you? Hide? I don't know. I have a display. Um, and then I don't see any reason not to display at least your neighbors. Maybe you don't want to display everyone because the guy in the bottom, you don't. I only have seven kids. I have. He five. knows he's seventh. I have so. I mean, you know what I mean? So Because they're really only competing against the neighbors closest to So is that where you have to display the thing five? Too, it has nothing to do with the grade. Right. That's true. But it can. It, you could you could say generally you well, could say I mean you could hear well here's the thing. First of all, things. you could have it have some you could have a reward system well, where once a month you get a buy on your homework and then you lose all your experience points. You get to pick, if you're number one or number two or whatever, you get to pick, or you could say in your class, so you've got enough kids, anybody in the top five can turn in their experience points at any time to pass on a minor homework item. And then you zero out their XP and say, okay, you don't have to turn in that, that lab. Maybe. I mean, I'm just saying you could no one would do, do well, a reward. You could, uh, you could attach a certain uh, fee of XP. You want to Take the whole thing out. Yeah, I, nobody would go. You don't think anyone? Zero. Nobody. No, no, no. All, oh, all, no, not start all. back at level zero. No, no, no. no like five hundred, no maybe kids. a thousand points, but not. No zero. kids ever got But see, you don't think so? Oh, I would. Because all of a sudden they'll get save it up until it's the one where I oh, where I slept in. Like, big, just a just big like a, you said minor homework assignment though, not a test. No, I didn't say a test. I said a minor homework. I guess yeah. yeah I don't no know. You know, I'm it. just saying you could do something. You could come yeah, up with some could. kind of trade in. Could. Yeah, then that kid feels um, like a sucker. And I did the opposite. The you know, the homework check. Where you're just like, yeah. I I gave a thousand bonus points, and he whenever somebody took a test, whoever the best in the in the class was. You just added it to you just go. You just add it to their total. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, so there's a bonus for trying to do the best too. Okay, that would be terrible to say. Here. Okay, so we got He's cheat guard down here. Uh, I don't know why anyone would say no to that. Why would you say no to the cheat guard? So uh, max actions in a time frame. It this is what it was set at. Ten five actions per ten minutes. That may be too much too. If they could just go through clicking. I don't remember what I said. I don't know. You could say five actions in 60 minutes, and I think it wouldn't be bad. What do you have yours set to, Dan? I'm redoing mine all right now. So yeah, so that's remember. worth thinking about, actually, right? Uh, uh, Heidi actually uh, does this. So, um, you, know, she, you know, she'd be a good reference for uh, people who are doing this as well. So I have time between identical actions. I used to have 40,000... 
minutes. <laughs> uh, so I there is no identical actions. You can't just keep clicking on the same right. thing over and over. Because I don't want them to do the same thing over and over and over again. Right? So that's why that number is high in time. Max points in any time frame, 1,000 points per day. Uh, and then what does what the block want to be up top? You can change that um, to whatever you want to. Um, so that's the settings. The visuals are, yeah, I didn't change anything, did I? The visual are what you want the levels to be, and basically all you have to do is drop whatever pictures you want <coughs> named the level. So one.jpg, two. So my hardware class is monks, because they don't leave the room. They're cloistered. And my tech students are rangers, because they're going and leaving the room all the time. So I have a bunch of different silly monk pictures with the top one being uh, the dude floating mm -hmm. in the clouds, whatever. So, so that's what that's what those the uh, pictures are. Oh, they have. I did. That's new. No. Yeah, yeah. they change oh. well, change the stars. I don't. Stuff. I don't. They always was just stars. So now we got yeah. ninjas and robots that we can do as well. Well, yeah, because yeah, I didn't like the fact that you couldn't actually change the color of the stars. But yeah. Huh. So, I, I've always just dropped pictures, although you've got new pictures now if you want to use animals or robots in yours without looking for pictures. That's new. Um, what is the point symbol? I haven't ever used that. I, I don't, I've never used this. Have you ever used that before? I, don't, I didn't know there was anything here. Oh. The image uploaded here will be displayed next to the points as a substitute for the reference to experience points. Hmm. I don't know. Hey, wait, is that what that is up there? The little badge thing? What? That? Like no. you make your own for that? Like the progression of the bar? The yeah, I don't know. Progression of experience? Okay, so the big thing uh, here is the rules part. I don't know. So, know. Um, rules are what make the thing? experience happen, and it always goes from the top down. So, if rule number one is applied, no other rules apply. Okay, so if rule one number one is not employed, then I'll go to the next one. So here's my first one. 500 points are awarded when all the conditions are met. A quiz is attempted is submitted, so every time you take a quiz, it's worth 500 points. Um, or an activity or resource was successfully completed, and that's it. Okay, for the 500 points. So um, that seems wrong. Why did I have that? Oh, all. Oh. So it's the quiz and that. So it's got to be a quiz activity. I don't know why. Why would I need that in there? Because it has to be all of those. Oh, well, successfully completed. So the completion. Could so be that's the completion. Grade. That would be the passing grade. So in other words, you get 500 points if mm -hmm. you complete. If I said that the completion for the test is an 80%, that's why I did that. Because yeah, otherwise, so if I said it was an eighty percent, an F, and, and they get an F, and they 500. get five hundred experience points. So right. they have to have done it to some level of of, of completion. Okay. All those. Here we go. Is your second rule there a, a copy? Uh, all the conditions are that quiz the attempts. It is the same thing. I don't know why I've got that down there twice. Maybe I was playing with them, something here. Then I get 200 points when assignment has been su submitted, and this is any, okay. uh, a book's two. read where a choice is made. You have duplicates, dude. Where? Again, watch, scroll down. Oh, yeah, your next roll is the same. How, how did that happen? I wonder if that's from my re backup restore. Like so how, wait, did you import from a class? I think so. I don't know. i got to look at mine. Um, my that point well, being... That won't hurt anything. Yeah, no, yeah. because as soon as it applies to this one, it's not gonna. It's not going to go to the next one. So it You're goes down the list of stuff. So I said right. 200 points if they submitted an assignment, read the book, or made a choice. Why does it say no longer in use? Choice made. Choice answer. Choice. Yeah, Oh, because it now it's they added the choice? Choice answer added. Choice answer deleted. So they changed the name of it? Maybe they did. Okay. Hmm. Uh, and then, okay, so then 50, if they didn't get any points there, then it goes down here. 
Um, create, reviewed, update, or what's the D for? On crud. Uh, don't leave it. I got uh, kids getting off and kids going to college. Okay, I need. <laughs> I need to get your computer done before I leave. Okay, so it, we're done, really, anyways, yeah. going through yeah. uh, the rules. The rules are very flexible, and then well, they're so one point if you basically do anything. Get to the bottom and tell what crud is. Well, that's what we were trying to figure out. What's the D? What's the D? Create, review, update. update. Is it delete? I thought it was delete. But yeah, because yeah, delete gets zero. Yeah. I need to go through my points. Yeah, see, delete zero. I said, why are all these yeah. twice? Yeah, I don't know. You got superfluous. Rules. I do. I may have to check mine now. I wonder if something happened during the. Uh... But yeah, it applies the rules top. Be it applies the rules top down, right? Yes, so it applies the rules top. So down. it's not going to hurt anything, right. and nobody's going to get double points. Yeah. Okay. So I gotta work on my badges. I just gotta figure out what's going on with my. Why do I have all those doubles? It's just making the same choice, basically. Yeah, it's just weird. Twice. I don't know how that happened. Okay. Game on. Hey, we're done, right? Yeah. yeah. Sorry that that I took me so long to get going and start there. Oh, it's, um, 